Hi, I'm Clifford Oliver. I'm a photographer. I've been a photographer for over 50 years. It's a lovely life. What can I say? How did I get into photography? Well, I'm a human being. And being a human being, we are visually oriented. And I have always been fascinated by all the arts. And I've tried my hand at drawing, but I just could not put on page what I saw. Could not. I didn't have the hand eye thing. And the mechanics of photography, I should say the science of photography, it was a nice blend for me, science and, and art um, combined in photography. And I just, um, it fit. It was, the, it was the art that fit. Uh, saying that, I'd like to start off today's lesson talking about composition. And I want to do composition first because with cameras and with certainly with telephones, exposure is automated now. And it's done so well that I think we should talk about composition. A photograph, I'm gonna pull open anything, is a canvas. And because you're still working with a canvas, I wanna tell people, I wanna tell you all to fill that frame. Don't develop the deadly disease to most amateur photographers called bullseye syndrome, where your subject is directly in the bullseye. No, you wanna fill that entire frame corner to corner with your subject or with your image or think about what's in your background. Yes, think about what's in your background. Now you can see this image, you can see is not direct dead center. No, and you can tell the environment of the, uh, of the snake by its background. Feel as much of that canvas, as much of that frame with information as you can. Be aware of your backgrounds. Be aware too, looking at this wonderful image, of where your light is coming from. Where is your light coming from? What color is your light? Is it a soft light or a hard light? Luckily, right now where we're sitting is very harsh light, but it doesn't look harsh because above us is a scrim. It's just a sheet of, I don't know what it is, but what it does, it's spreading the light out. It's making the light a lot softer, which is very flattering. Certainly flattering to the human face. I'm going to show you from this, using myself as a model, and I have models in my uh, um, how this light is flattering, and yet this light, direct sunlight, can be very harsh. But for guys, harsh light is usually good, because if it comes from the side, a guy tighten his jaw, it can make him look macho, macho man and you will fill it in the Macho Macho Man song. Whereas the soft light is far more flattering, and certainly if your subject is soft, like the fairer sex, or children, you want soft light. Oh, I have a small portfolio of my images here. Yes. Oh, perfect example of filling the frame. Yep, and not exactly bullseye syndrome, close. But you see, I've got space here, because that's the direction uh, this horse and rider are going in. You want to give them a place to go into. I don't have any images where my subject is butted against the frame. And if I did, I wouldn't put them in here. I'd get rid of them. Uh, try not to cut off tires. You can see I photograph a lot of horses. Oh, here's one. Yep. Just, yeah. Even though I must say, in my defense, the object, my subject, was the tapping, was the high-fiving of the mallets. It would have been much better, though. Oh, it would have been a stronger photo if I had gotten full, literally both horses fully in. What else do I want to say about composition? Perspective. A general rule, this is a general rule in photography, is to be on the same level as your subject. By being on a higher level than your subject, you're looking down on them. You diminish them, you make them smaller. By looking up on your subject, in other words, being at a lower perspective than they are, you're looking up at your subject, and, and um, that would tend to make a hero out of you. So yeah, you can use photography, even though it's a testimony to truth, you can slant that testimony in little ways, like with your perspective, making heroes out of small things diminishing great things.